The Wishing Star Little Brown Mouse and Little Gray Mouse were the very best of friends. They did everything together. I'm so glad you come with me on my adventures, said the Little Brown Mouse. It wouldn't be much fun by myself. I'm so lucky to have you as a friend, said the Little Gray Mouse. I wouldn't dare climb so high without you. They went everywhere together and always looked after each other. They shared everything, even their biggest secrets and special dreams. One night, as the two friends sat planning their next adventure, they saw a glittering star shoot across the sky and fell into the lake. It's a wishing star, cried the little brown mouse. We can make a wish if we find it. He raced down the hill. Come on, he shouted. We'll go in our boat down the river. All the way to the lake, little gray mouse squeaked, running after him. That's dangerous. But by the time he caught up, a little brown mouse was pushing their boat into the water. We must hurry, he said. We must find the star before anyone else does. As they floated down the river, strange shadows moved through the reeds in the moonlight. Are you sure we are safe? Little gray mouse asked nervously. Little brown mouse didn't answer. He was paddling with all his might and thinking about what he would wish for when they found the star. I shall wish to have an exciting adventure every day, he said, paddling harder than ever. And I shall wish for a magic larder that is always full of nuts and berries, began little gray mouse dreamily. No, no, shouted little brown mouse, leaping up. We can only have one wish because there is only one star. But we need food for the winter, cried the little gray mouse, stamping his foot. I saw the star first. Little brown mouse replied crossly, The wish belongs to me! And as the two mice argued, the boat rocked and twisted round and round until, all at once, it bumped into the reeds and stopped. The mice peered out into the darkness. Is this where the water must live? whispered little gray mouse, trembling. He grabbed on to little brown mouse. There was something rustling in the reeds. Yeek! He squeaked with a jump as two bright eyes stared out at them. What are you two doing here? cried Vol in surprise. Little brown mouse sighed with relief. Please help us, Vol. We are on our way to find a wishing star that's fallen in the lake, but now we are stuck. A wishing star? Vol shivered with excitement. I shall wish for a fresh bed of grass every day, then I won't have to make my bed anymore. Did you say a wishing star in the lake? croaked Frog, hopping up out of the river. I shall wish for as many flies as I can eat. And with a huge leap, he was gone. Quick, we must go, cried the Vol, jumping into the water and giving the mice new puddles. We can't let Frog get there before us. Vol pushed the leaf boat from the reeds, then scrambled aboard as the wind took hold of it and sent them speeding down the river. Twirling and swirling, the boat was swept this way and that between the rocks. Little gray mouse held on tightly and thought about his warm, cozy bed under the oak tree when suddenly he heard a loud croak. Look over there, he cried out. Frog strapped on the rocks. We must help him. I suppose so, muttered little brown mouse, guiding the boat across the frog, even though he was going to take our wish for himself. Thank you, Frog spluttered as little gray mouse pulled him to safety. They huddled together as the boat swirled on until at last the water grew calmer and slower as they came nearer to the lake. One more bend, said the bull eagerly, and we shall be there. Gently they drifted on to the lake, and there before them were hundreds of shimmering wishing stars. Look! gasped little gray mouse. We can all have a wish, and you must go first, said little brown mouse. Little gray mouse smiled and thought hard. I wish, he said slowly, I wish that I shall always have such good friends as you. And they all agreed that it was the best wish ever. The end. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this lovely story. Don't forget to like and subscribe. More interesting stories are coming every two days. Bye.